Imagine an aircraft so nimble, so adaptable, that it can scramble in minutes, operate from icy highways instead of massive runways, and integrate flawlessly with NATO's most advanced command systems, all while costing a fraction of its rivals. In the tense skies over Eastern Europe, where every second counts, one jet is quietly reshaping the balance of power. This is Sweden's JAS-39 Gripen, the fighter redefining air warfare and possibly becoming NATO's secret weapon. You're watching Military Power Play. And before we dive into this incredible story of technology, strategy, and innovation, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Because what you're about to discover might just change how you think about modern air power. In March 2024, Sweden broke with nearly two centuries of formal non-alignment and officially joined NATO. That shift wasn't just political, it was strategic. It meant Sweden's air force, its doctrines, and its aircraft would now become part of NATO's collective defense. At the heart of this transformation is Saab's JAS-39 Gripen, a light, multi-role fighter that suddenly found itself in the global spotlight. Over the past year, Gripens have moved from national patrols to NATO's front lines, intercepting Russian aircraft, securing Baltic airspace, and protecting the vital supply corridors feeding Ukraine. This isn't just a fighter story. It's about how a small, efficient, and brilliantly designed jet has started to redefine what air power means in the 21st century. To understand why the Gripen is special, we need to travel back to its origins. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Sweden faced a cold truth. It was surrounded by great powers, had long borders, harsh winters, and limited basing options. Sweden couldn't afford massive fleets of expensive twin-engine fighters like the U.S. or the Soviet Union. Saab's engineers, therefore, designed something different, a jet built on four key principles. Agility, modularity, low operating cost, and adaptability. The Gripen would be light single engine, capable of short takeoff and landing, and easy to maintain in the field, even from highways or dispersed bases. The philosophy was simple, survive and fight, even if your main airfields are destroyed. Over time, the Gripen evolved through several variants, from the early C-D models to the advanced E-F versions, featuring stronger engines, increased range, advanced radar, and new avionics. Rather than replacing fleets, Sweden continuously upgraded them, keeping costs down while maintaining cutting-edge performance. Gripen's short takeoff and landing ability means it can operate from small airstrips or even straight roads. That makes it incredibly survivable and unpredictable, a nightmare for enemies trying to track and target bases. Low operating cost. On average, the Gripen's flight hour costs roughly a quarter of an F-35s. That's a massive advantage. It means smaller countries can actually afford to train more pilots, keep jets flying more often, and maintain readiness at a fraction of the budget. Avionics and electronic warfare. The new Gripen E comes with a powerful ASA radar, advanced electronic countermeasures, and data fusion systems that allow the pilot to detect threats faster and jam enemy radars effectively. All this makes the Gripen more than just a jet, it's a flexible node in a digital air combat network. Sweden's NATO membership, a new era for Gripen. Sweden's formal NATO accession in 2024 was historic. After decades of neutrality, it was now committed to collective defense, and the Gripen instantly became part of NATO's shield. Early 2025, six Swedish Gripens landed in Malbork, Poland, to participate in NATO's enhanced air policing mission. It was the first time Swedish fighters were deployed outside national borders under NATO command. By mid-2025, Sweden expanded its contribution, proposing up to eight Gripens for air policing duties in Poland, reinforcing the protection of key logistics routes supporting Ukraine. Each deployment not only boosts defense, but builds interoperability and trust within NATO's integrated air structure. Why it's being called NATO's secret weapon. The phrase secret weapon might sound dramatic, but the Gripen's advantages make it quietly powerful in ways that go beyond numbers or size. Speed of deployment. A Gripen squadron can disperse and take flight within minutes. Its ground crew can refuel and rearm it in less than 10 minutes, sometimes just with a team of five people. Versatility of mission roles. 
air superiority, close air support, reconnaissance, or intercept. The Gripen can do it all. Its modular systems make switching mission profiles fast and efficient. The realistic challenges. Of course, no jet is perfect. Even the Gripen has limitations. Range and payload. It carries fewer weapons than twin-engine fighters like the Eurofighter or Rafale. Long-range strike missions over heavily defended territory are not its strong suit. Stealth. The Gripen is not a stealth aircraft. It relies on electronic warfare and agility rather than radar invisibility. Still, these are trade-offs Sweden intentionally made for cost efficiency, quick deployment, and survivability, values that fit its defense doctrine perfectly. Comparisons with other modern fighters. F-35 Lightning II, a stealth aircraft with advanced sensor fusion and battlefield awareness, but also extremely expensive nearly $80 million per unit and high maintenance costs. Gripen costs less than half of that and is cheaper to fly. Eurofighter Typhoon and Rafale. Both are top-tier European jets with greater payload and power, but Gripen's ease of maintenance and low logistics requirements make it far more flexible for smaller countries. That's why nations like the Czech Republic, Hungary, and Brazil operate Gripens. They offer top-tier capability without superpower price tags. Strategic importance in today's world. The Gripen's role has grown in importance because of current events. Russia, Ukraine war impact. With constant Russian missile and drone attacks, airspace security around Eastern Europe is critical. Gripen's patrolling Poland and the Baltic region are now part of that shield, protecting supply routes and ensuring NATO's rapid response capability. Eastern flank reinforcement. NATO's enhanced air policing missions after 2014 became even more critical after 2022. Sweden's inclusion adds a fresh layer of resilience. The Gripen's readiness and rapid deployment design mean NATO can cover more skies faster. Budget pressures. Not every NATO member can afford fleets of stealth jets. Gripen fills that gap, providing credible modern air defense for nations balancing capability with budget. New missile integrations. Saab recently secured contracts to equip Gripen C-D with new air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missile systems, ensuring they remain combat-relevant well into the 2030s. Electronic warfare and AI enhancements. New AI-driven threat analysis systems are being developed for the Gripen E variant. These can identify and respond to threats automatically making electronic warfare responses almost instantaneous. NATO Command Integration Swedish Gripens are now fully connected to NATO's air defense networks, able to share targeting data in real time, a major step towards seamless coalition operations. With these upgrades, Gripen isn't just staying relevant, it's staying ahead in the one area that matters most today, adaptability. Looking ahead, we can expect Sweden's Gripens to play an even bigger role. Permanent detachments in Poland or the Baltics could soon become reality. NATO may assign Gripen units to mix patrols with Eurofighters or F-35s. And while Sweden has ruled out sending Gripens directly to Ukraine for now, training programs or technology transfers could happen in the future as political landscapes shift. Sweden and Saab are also studying the next generation of air combat, potentially an unmanned or optionally manned successor. But until that day, the Gripen remains the centerpiece of Sweden's and now NATO's evolving air defense system. The JAS-39 Gripen isn't the biggest, flashiest, or most expensive jet in NATO's arsenal, but it might be the smartest. It represents a different philosophy of air power. Efficiency over extravagance, versatility over specialization, and readiness over prestige. As Sweden steps firmly into NATO's framework, the Gripen stands as both a symbol of deterrence and a model of smart engineering. Fast, affordable, upgradable, and reliable, it may not wear stealth paint, but it's earning something more powerful. Respect in the skies. If you enjoyed this deep dive, like this video, subscribe to Military Power Play, and hit the bell icon to never miss our next military or geopolitics breakdown. Let us know in the comments. Is the Gripen NATO's smartest fighter jet yet?